So the goal of the app is to measure jaundice in adults by measuring the degree to which their sclera, or the white part of the eye, turns yellow. And jaundice can appear in uh, many different medical conditions. The one that we're most interested in is pancreatic cancer because it has a very poor five-year survival rate. So there's two different uh, uses we see for in our application. One of them is for screening. So maybe someone knows that they're in a high-risk group. They could use this test periodically and see when they might need to start having a conversation with a doctor so they can start treatment sooner. The other application we have in mind is disease management. So maybe someone's already in the clinic, they're getting treatment for a condition, and they don't want to have to go through a, a repeated blood draw every 24 hours, they might be able to use our app instead to get those same measurements. A lot of people might be familiar with like a WebMD syndrome where people will think they have some sort of symptom, they look it up online, and all of a sudden they think they might have a, a very serious condition and they go to their doctor very worried. Uh, our app and many other mobile diagnostic apps could perpetuate that because not only are we telling people they might have conditions, but we're giving them data to support that. So we want to be very careful about how we present these kinds of results to people.